The annual Rick's Fun Run taking place today. This year, the run benefits a local second grade teacher who is battling cancer. During the run, brightly colored chalk is thrown on participants as they run the course. And some feared rain might have affected the event, but it continued on as planned. Fox 56's Alicia Hercules takes us there. Although today's weather wasn't ideal, many people still showed up to get covered in brightly colored chalk for a good cause. The organization was started by Stephanie Fernandez and her team to raise money for cancer research after Fernandez's father, Richard Musco, was diagnosed in May of 2017 with stage 4 squamous cell head and neck carcinoma. Musco lost his battle with cancer in 2018. Unfortunately, we lost him the month before the run like kicked off. So we figured we're going to um, do it anyway. The fun run initially began as a way to raise funds for cancer research. However, two years ago, the organization decided to use the funds to benefit a local person battling cancer to support them and their expenses. This year's beneficiary is Christy Hayward, a second grade teacher who works at the Solomon Plains Elementary School. A donation on behalf of the Fun Run team will also be given to Sloan Kettering's Cancer Center. As the participants run through various milestones, they get pink, purple, orange, and blue chalk thrown on them as they complete the course. It's pretty fun. I did it three years in a row so far, and each year it's a fun time. I get to hang out with my friends, and it's for good cause. The run concludes with all of the participants throwing chalk in the air, chanting... <laughs> Oh, it's a it's a great event to get people excited and happy despite you know some really challenging things going on relative to cancer. Keenan and Faye Lynn Fernandez, the grandchildren of Musco, tell me that this event helps them feel closer to him even years after his passing. It shows love for our grandfather. So this whole organization was built around my grandfather. So I feel like it just shows like that he's still a part of us, even though he might not physically be here. He's still here within everybody. The first Sunday of every May now forever signifies a day of remembrance and helping others for this family. Reporting from Plains Township in Luzerne County, I'm Alicia Hercules with Fox 56 News, first at 10. And if you would like to nominate someone battling cancer to be a beneficiary for next year's run, we'll have more information on how to do so on our website, fox56.com.